In this video, we'll cover the basics of Omnisphere's interface. The button to the top left will give us access to the main patch view. Top row buttons allow us to access parts 1 through 8 for patch loading, as well as access mixer and system-wide views. We're currently looking at part 1. Clicking on the Controls tab gives us access to patch-wide controls, such as part level, velocity curve, pitch bend range, master filter, individual layer volumes, and solo and glide. Here we can see we have access to the three types of browsers, multi, patch, and sound source. Browser windows will be open by clicking either on the middle blue bar or on the folder icon to the left. By clicking in the top area, we'll be opening the multi-browser. All the browsers offer many ways to search for sounds, including searchable filters, by category and attribute, or by directory. We know that this is a multi-browser rather than patch or a sound source because it says so at the very top as well as in the lower right-hand info area. Here's an example of a patch browser. And here's an example of a sound source browser. But note that all three browsers work in the same fashion. Now we'll take a look at the edit page. This view gives us an inside look at all the synth parameters for each patch. Remember, each patch contains two layers, and we can switch between the two layers with these tabs over here. Within each active layer, you can select sample as your sound source type and access the sound source browser directly without going to the main page. The rest of the edit page contains Omnisphere's oscillator and filter sections and modulators, the complete synthesis engine for each layer. Here we have the FX tab. It takes us to a virtual effects rack. These effects can be either for layer A, for layer B, or common effects for the entire patch. This button will take us to the arpeggiator editor. In this case, the arpeggiator is not active, and we'll see these power buttons throughout Omnisphere's interface. Clicking here on the multi button will take us to the mixer view where we can see each of the eight parts with their patch assignments, MIDI channel assignments, mute and solo buttons, as well as volume and pan and global effect settings. Within the mixer, we see that we have access to patch browsers. Clicking on any folder icon will open a browser to load a patch within each of the eight parts. So we've seen that we have access to the browsers from a variety of locations within Omnisphere's interface.